Flame City family, what is up? It is five o'clock in Chicago, which means it is time for hashtag Fridays with Flame, 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 Flame. I am your host, Bobby, hanging out with my main man, Art. <laughs> <laughs> On a cold Chicago Friday day, I think the high today was like seven degrees. It got down to negative one overnight, but it doesn't matter because we're gonna warm up the kitchen with a keto delicious meal tonight. We're using everything from Thrive Market. We're gonna hang out, drink some keto wine, and have a grand old time. Uh, before we start, you know the, the deal. I have my computer up here. I want you all to tell me where you're watching from, and I want to know, can you hear me okay? But more importantly, can you hear the cameraman known as Art? Arthur T. Almacy III. And actually, you should see Art real quick and say hi to him because he's wearing a shirt that is going to play a very big role in today's live stream. You know it. So where's that shirt from, Art? This is from Bucky's. In Texas, right? And I think they have a location in Alabama, finally. And, mostly Texas. Okay, and Art has some stuff he brought back from the world's greatest truck stop, can we call it? Not a truck stop. No 18 Gas station? Oh, that's gas right, station. gas station. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, world's yeah. greatest gas station that I'm going to try. I'm scared of. I'm snacking on some macadamia nuts because I'm hungry. But here's the menu for tonight, you guys. Spice crusted, juicy pork chops with a pan sauce made of horseradish and cream served with keto cauliflower garlic match. The star of this dish is this. 100% pasture raised, gap for certified non-GMO pork from Thrive Market, more specifically from a small Georgia farm called White Oak Pastures. They do it right. It's small. You'll never find this kind of stuff in the grocery store. It came in my box that also has ghee and other stuff I want to share with you in there. We're going to spice crust those, cook them in a hot cast iron pan, and finish it with that horseradish cream sauce. And I really want you guys to try this pork. So all throughout the live stream, I'm going to drive you guys to my promo link in the description box. <clears throat> if you're not a Thrive member, I know a lot of new people to the channel this month. Check them out. You get a $20 shopping credit when you use my link. You can cancel in the first month and get your membership fee back. But you want to try the pork bundle because it has pork and bacon and a lot of other stuff. All right. We got Galveston, Texas here. We got Colorado Springs. We got the world represented. We got the New, world? New Zealand's in the house. Are you serious? Yeah. Wow. Saw that early on. They were chiming in, and we got people from all over. That's Colorado, right. Texas, India. Wow. North Carolina. Quebec. All around the world, statues crumble for art. It's right, Taylor. We're so close to 900,000. Wow, I did not think you were going to be going to Sugar <laughs> Ray. <laughs> things up? Sugar Ray. Sugar Ray, yeah. right. Stangman's in the house from Austin. Austin, Texas. Texas. Oh, my God. Austin, we're going to use... Epic pork fat. It's kind of sen sensual to cut pork chops and pork fat, right, Art? Sure. <laughs> Happy Valentine's it's Day, kind of by the way. To be cooking the animal in its own fat. Right? It's kind of, isn't that interesting? Like I'm paying respect to the Frank animal. Frank Costanza said that's about cooking it in its own fat. So let's get started. Um, the recipes for all this stuff are in the description box on my blog. But why don't we crowdsource the ideas for the? Spice spice rub here. Arlington. So what should I put on my pork chops here? Arlington Heights, Illinois. Oh, nice. Welcome, Amber. I'm very excited for tomorrow's interactive cooking demo meetup in Chicago. Yeah, it's it's going to be, be very perfect. fun. It's sold out within 48 hours. So let me crack open this. Oh, you guys tell me Tennessee. what would be a lovely spice rub to go on here. I'm going to do this over the sink, actually. Right? I think on my blog, it has like... Uh, Fennel and sweet paprika, but it's totally up to you. Hey, Midsy, is uh, that pronounced Dacula, Georgia, or Dacula? Is it like Dracula, but Dacula? I'm curious about that. So please. From uh, Georgia? Find a way to phonetically explain it to me. I've never <laughs> seen that city name before. Stangman's asking if you're going to use pork rinds. Um, not in this uh, recipe. We don't need it tonight, my friend. But I do have extra pork rinds for tomorrow because I'm going to use that in my keto chili. So tomorrow at our interactive meetup, we're going to make in up, two man? hours, hopefully, and we have 35 people, so it should be easy. We're going to make pressure cooker chili. We're going to make red lobster cheddar bay biscuits. Oh, we have yeah. a hard time opening this. We're going to make oh, uh, yeah. beef kefta. We're going to make Greek yogurt sauce. And we're going to make... Uh, Salad, a kale and cauliflower salad. That so menu for tomorrow sounds amazing. Yeah, it's going to be great. It's very, very adventurous and very uh, aggressive, I should say. But I think it's going to work out 
great. Okay, now I have this open here. Let's talk about the spice here. What are you all saying for spices here, huh? Uh, Sandra loves it when you speak Spanish. <laughs> yeah, last night. Actually, I did... this is when you guys, so I guess that includes ah. you too. I don't do it very often. Last night on my Instagram story, I did some major Spanglish. All right, so Art, right, okay. let's it's come over tequila. here. Let's come Thank over you. to my spice. Oh, Sean, I got the cookbook today. I love to hear that. Awesome. Coconut. Um, oh. Let's see here. Chili, chicharrones, adobo. Taylor, I went to a Texas Five last spice weekend. powder, cumin. Always cumin. All right, let's come over here, Art. To the spice rack that Desi has Marie Condored and reorganized. Why don't we I have to fill those up here? Why Something. don't we add a little bit? Not a welcome. Let's do cumin. Let's do smoked paprika. Let's do turmeric. Let's do these three. I think that's gonna be the trifecta of spices. Let's Thank grab you, our Desi. salt here. We can get red Hawaiian salt, probably more of a finishing salt, extra flaky. Celtic sea salt. Virginia Espinosa asked her husband for your cookbook for Valentine's Day. Oh, Virginia, that's amazing. We can use red salt. I love to hear that. Well, hopefully, Nothing... hopefully she got it. Well, there's going to be major issues. Let's use this. If there's not going to be that present request. Thanks, Mitzi. Because Thank nothing you. is more romantic. I got to put the book in the background. Nothing is more romantic than actually cooking keto recipes, right? So let me go grab the book and put it back here next to my Thrive Box. Uh, Amber Stover from Arlington Heights is using the cookbook tomorrow. It's her birthday gift. Oh, nice. Awesome, happy birthday. Happy to birthday to you. I love to Wait, hear that. Is your birthday tomorrow or did you get it for your birthday at some point and you're using it tomorrow? Guys, Either how much way, fun is this? I mean, way, we did a way. live stream from Whole Foods the other day and now we're doing a live stream in the kitchen. We're taking it full circle. We're shopping with you. We're cooking with you. Next thing you know, Art and I come over and tucking your kids in for bed. That's, all, that's taking a full circle right there, baby. So basically the Eagles had it right when they said that, you know, take it to the limit one more time. That's what we're doing. Well said. Take it to the limit. One okay, one so now time. let's season. All right, now you get a better look. Look at the beautiful marbling on these morning pork chops they're not going to dry out because normally pork can be very lean these especially rib, when these are rib chops that's like nice. yes even Daddy. more fat exactly that's what you want a lot of times pork can be very lean and some people think pork is like is fatty and it's not i mean is uh, salted and it's not only bacon is really salted right so i pull out bacon here this is going to be my breakfast tomorrow morning I love Drink breakfast on the stuff. weekend because during the week, it's always my quinoa breakfast bowl. But on the weekend, it's coffee, bacon, keto pancakes, scrambled eggs. Look at this, Art. So this is the pasture-raised, sugar-free, meaning paleo, bacon from Thrive Market. But this is salted, right? So you're always going to have some salt in bacon because it's part of the drying or curing process. I thought the pigs come seasoned like yeah. while they're living. Well, you'd be surprised how many people actually think, oh, well, because bacon's salty, pork chops are salty. Pork chops are actually just as bland as a chicken breast. The animal and, self seasons. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and they're very, very lean. Pork chops have the same amount of fat as chicken, meaning you can overcook it very, very easily, which is why this technique we're gonna use today that will never happen. Nothing's worse than dry pork chops. And I feel like growing up, if you had them from your mama, she probably overcooked them pretty aggressively. Okay, so this is our spice rub. Love the color, check this out. I get that beautiful kind of rustic yellow color here. Somebody asked, I, I think they're asking if you're gonna do uh, reviews of restaurants that are Bobby approved. Um, so we started doing that last year of like, uh, Last year, meaning a few months ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Uh, we did uh, Starbucks. We did Shake Shack. Um, probably not, to be honest. It wasn't the best use of our time, and I'd rather focus on other issues that are more near and dear to my heart. But I'm going to say, Art had a really good time at the Shake Shack the review. Shake Shack was an uh, epic time. Uh, it was very, very epic. Art enjoyed that. So now I have a question for you guys. Do I want these chops to be cold from the fridge? so they don't get too warm and mushy when I put them in a hot pan? Or do you actually want them to be room temperature when you put them in a hot pan? Lois Lane is asking us to come to the UK. I think we should make that. I would love to. So there's actually a very good chance we're gonna be in Italy at the end of September for harvest season. We actually might go to these guys, the Keto Wine Company's estate, and it's we're gonna- hand, right? No, this is the pork hand. Okay. Yeah, this is not, what... this is the spice hand. Art's like, Art saw me grabbing that. He's like, no! We might go to Tuscany. Uh, so maybe y'all can come over and meet us. And then Art and I might actually go to another uh, city, maybe with Jesse and Rose afterwards. Well, thank you, Pam. Okay, so 
Answers to the trivia question are coming in. Oh, it's like... Paige says room. room Sarah says ball. room. Christy says room. Maggie Joe, B. Y'all got it right. Happy Maggie Valentine's B is Day, here. B. You want it room temperature because if you put a cold pork chop, cold chicken, cold beef in a hot pan or hot oven, what's going to happen? It's going to end up uh, cooling down the temperature of the pan and you won't sear. I want these to get a crazy crust on there and there ain't no way you're going to do that if it's a cold chop. So just this could literally sit out for an hour and nothing would happen to it, right? I'm going to put my bacon back. But you guys, the bacon is so legit. So once again, use the $20 promo code by signing up for Thrive Market in the link below and get the bacon. The link Why takes you to my pasture raised uh, pork box. But here's the other stuff I get from Thrive Market. So I love my Thrive Market grass fed ghee. I'd recommend getting that. But tonight I got this instead. I got pasture raised pork fat from Epic. And then I love getting the uh, Thrive Market coconut uh, milk because it has no guar gum. And then I always get pantry staples like organic raisins, organic cashews. And look at this. They have uh, coconut oil mayonnaise. So once again, if you're not a Thrive Market member yet, in the link of the description box down below is uh, a promo code for $20 off if you're a first time customer, get the annual membership. And then if you don't like Thrive in the first 30 days, just cancel. You'll get your annual membership fee back, but you get to keep that $20 shopping credit that I would use for the uh, pork bundle. Art is saying he has breaking news. A quick one before the breaking news. Fluff and Stuff wants to know, Bobby, do you ever go bam with yourself? Uh, usually not, but we talk about Hilda with uh, Parsley. Cindy and Fonte just gave you $9.99 as the premier super chat of this Wow. Happy, Happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day, everyone. Day. Thank you, Cindy. Cindy, all these super chats. She's so um, generous. Maggie's going to Valentine's dinner, so she has to bail out. Maggie here, B? So have fun, Maggie B. Nice. What's everyone doing for V-Day, by the way? Are we having a romantic day? They're, they're what? Us. They're yes. watching the well, show. To be honest, I think nothing is more romantic than hanging out with Bobby and Art and Desi and Rose cooking pork in pork fat. That is the most sensual of all acts, right? George Costanza might think eating pastrami is the most sensual meat. Sensual of all the salted cured meats. Thank you. But I say cooking pasture-raised pork in pasture-raised pork fat is erotic. Borderline triple X. Wow, Missy Mick said, hated to do it, but had to leave Thomas D. live to see what you and Art were making tonight. Happy Valentine's Day. Love what you guys are doing. Watch all the time. We talk to Thomas all the time. He's a good friend. He's live right now, too, Thomas? Apparently. Oh, that's hilarious. Tell someone to leave a comment over there that Flav City is live, and I said hi. France Hepe, welcome. First Question for you. When you buy cauliflower, which is a keto paleo staple, a la cuisine, does it have to be organic or conventional? Meaning, oh, Rose is not a happy camper back there. Is uh, cauliflower a Thanks, clean man. 15 or a dirty dozen member? Oh, Thomas ended. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Cauliflower... Um, is fantastic because it's a blank canvas. And I'm gonna turn it into the closest thing you can get to mashed potatoes, right? So, uh, Amy says conventional, Deb says clean 15, Carla says organic. I see a lot of clean 15s. I 15. see a lot of cleans. I see a lot of clean, and you're right. Number one, you're right because you're smart, you're a Flav City family member. Number two, it's because cauliflower is very unique and has a natural compound in there that has a pest deterrent. And so because of that, they don't have to spray it very often. The same is true for broccoli. Chopping macale, I'm chopping macale. And with cabbage. Very, very cool stuff because you can save money, right? Apparently Thomas was shopping live in Target. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, it's so cool. Vicky Murph ordered a pizza for me. Oh, by myself. <laughs> <laughs> wow, oh, Thomas went live in Target? That's ballsy. I was actually thinking about going live in stores I'm not invited to with art. Like imagine an undercover live in Aldi. But uh, I don't want to get kicked out of there the same way we got asked to stop filming at Costco. So I want to play it safe. This is, my, uh, this is my business on the line here, right? Okay, so let's chop this up. I have a pot of boiling water. Now, truthfully, this would Dirks be even better. House. Dirks! Under 24 hours until Brad. That's Happy right. Rose, Art, <laughs> That's right, brother. We'll see you tomorrow. You're going to come early. Come at 1 o'clock. You're going to help us out. Um, and it's going to be fun. So tomorrow we have the sold out Flav City interactive cooking demo in River North Chicago. We have two sessions. Each session is going to have 35 Flav City fans. Uh, before I do that, Art, I have a trivia question. I'm going to boil this 
cauliflower in the water. Do I want to salt my water like I would pasta or should I wait until the cauliflower is done to salt it? Leave a question down below. We have two sessions, 35 fans per session. We're going to cook, if you didn't hear earlier. Pressure cooker chili, red lobster keto biscuits, beef kefta, tzatziki sauce, and the kale cauliflower salad. Everyone's going to cook together. When that session is done, Art and I are going to clean up and we're going to do it again. We're doing it all with 100% grass-fed beef. It's going to be amazing. I think Livera was one asking, um, what's the best way to pick cauliflower? Are the brown spots mold? Oh, no, it's kind of random. They're not mold. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh, great answer, Lisa. Both. Salt now, salt now, salt now, right? So come back here, Art. But you're going to end up salting it later on, too, because you have to season it every step of the cooking process. So it's just like pasta. Right, you have to salt now. That way, when it boils, it's gonna actually season the cauliflower. How am I pronouncing that, by the way, Art? Pretty good. Cauli Cauli cauliflower. Cauliflower. JCP0061 sent an email to HEB Marketing telling them to check you out and focus on Bobby approved stuff. Oh, I like that. You're welcome, Lavra. I feel like we're getting on the radar of like every uh, marketing company of a grocery store. The funny Patricia thing Martinez asked a great question Did Art ever get his bolognese sauce? Oh, <laughs> You would experience it because I don't just want the bolognese. I want the bolognese on a Friday night with Fridays with Flav. Episode. How many of y'all would stick around for a three hour braised bolognese? A three hour tour. <laughs> Maybe I could do a quicker version. Tour. I don't think I can talk for three hours. Even oh, I have on, my limits. Dude. You could do it. Juan Gonzalez just did it. $2 super chat. Thank you, Juan. Thank you, Juan. Juan Valdez? Juan Gonzalez. Juan Gonzalez. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. I really appreciate that. Fluffy stuff. Ooh, brownies. Mm, we actually might make some keto brownies for dessert. Um, so it's been a long day, you guys. We went to the grocery store with Rose and Desi. That's how we spend Valentine's Day. We filmed two baby-related videos. The first one was what to buy at the store for baby food between 6 and 12 months. And the second video was the top superfoods for babies to make them grow strong like bull. Not Alan Zor made a good comment. I think he wants the tomahawk more now. Ah, <laughs> That's easier. I can do that one. So the video about what to buy and avoid is interesting because a lot of those pouches and teethers and snacks are filled with oats, grains, and rices that actually a baby's tummy can't even uh, process until they're after 12 months old because in the first 12 months, babies have leaky guts. So anything with rice and oats you want to avoid for babies. Art is freaking out about something. What's I'm up? I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Keisha Holloman, 24 Whoa! Chat. Love you guys. Keisha. Love so much. Keisha. Kesha. Wow. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. And Fernando V, $2. Bobby and Art, do you prefer keto or paleo? All right. Why don't you answer that for yourself first? Uh, I don't do either of them. I just, <laughs> I just try to do everything in moderation. Bobby, which do you do? A hybrid of both. Because I love fruit, like watermelon, mango, and pineapple, and I like paleo baking. So for me, it works both. I never get into ketosis, but I don't do it for that. I do it to feel good. I do it because the recipes, as I put in the cookbook here, are feel-good food, tasty keto meals, right? When you're eating these meals here, forget the fact that many of them are paleo, and all of them are keto. It just tastes good. It's non-inflammatory. And it's a low-carb, moderate-fat diet that makes you feel really good. Let me correct what I just said. I do keto paleo when I'm here. That's right. There's everything he mentioned. And you're here everything three he to four days good. a week. So Yeah. Yeah. Semi. But you guys, the book is doing so good on Amazon. Keep searching. Flav City on Amazon. No matter where you live, the book will deliver to you. And like I said the other day in the live stream, if you bought the book and you haven't done so yet, please leave a uh, Amazon review. Those things really matter for like the algorithm and the search rankings. Chartreur in the house. Hey, Char, how's it going? Welcome. Chartreur just gave us a fourteen ninety nine. Whoa, Char. Yeah, thank you, Char. You are so darn sweet. So guys. I was giving the shout out before I even saw the super chat. Thank you, Char, you're so sweet. Let's recap what's going on. We got some cauliflower. We want to boil it, but not over boil it. Because if it gets watery, it's going to be very mushy. Oh, you know what? I also want to throw some uh, garlic in there. Kim Martin wants to make the uh, keto red lobster biscuits. I think those would be perfect right about now, too. Uh, <laughs> even though we're making them tomorrow? Sarah Osorio, $1.99. Happy Valentine's Day. Give Rose a big hug for me. Too kind of you, Sarah. Thank, Thank you. you. Rose was super cute today. We had a at the grocery store for a couple hours. She's she was doing great. True, but even like more cute. By cooking a couple garlic cloves in the water, it takes away that kind of harsh, raw flavor. 
and it makes it oh so yummy, right? Thank you, Char. Happy Valentine's Day to you too. She's wishing you okay. all a happy Valentine's Day. It's Friday night, it's time to pour a little keto wine. We're at a thousand people, Bobby. What do you think people should do? Oh, well, I think people should sit back, relax, pour a glass of low sugar wine, and share. Because sharing is caring. You can share the link over to Facebook wall, Instagram stories, but Art has some alternative ideas too. Put them on your dating profiles yep. too, like eHarmony, Hinge, Tinder, Bumble. Mm -hmm. Farmers only. Farmers only or grindy. Gr Christian Ming grindy. <laughs> I think it's called grinder. <laughs> Christian Mingle, everything out there. That's but right. We got some breaking so news. Breaking news? Matthew Cartwright, two dollars. Cartwright! Patricia Mamani, ten dollars. Wow! And a comment, you guys are awesome. I lost ten pounds on keto and I couldn't be happier. Thank you so That's much. That's what it's all Happy about. Happy Valentine's Day. Where is Rose? Rose is trying to take a nap, but I have a feeling she'll be here pretty soon because she doesn't want to miss out. Thank you to all the super chatters. Yeah, thank you guys. Thank you so much for everything. But losing the weight is easy, right? That's going to be the first thing. And then you might plateau a little bit, then you'll lose more weight. But more importantly, you're going to feel great because inflammation. Let's talk about inflammation. That comes from starchy carbs and sugar, right? And when you cut those out on a keto diet and moderate those on a paleo diet, mean not have a ton of cassava or tapioca starch, inflammation goes down, you feel better, people with diabetes will get off or limit their medication, and you're gonna lose weight. If you combine that with working out, woo, forget about it, you're gonna be totally set. So this book has not only has keto recipes, but tons of paleo recipes, and even ones that have dairy can be substituted with imitation cheese or good quality cashew yogurt, and you're good to go. So keep it up, you guys. It's all about you. And Art has breaking news, and I need some wine, so I'm in a good mood. Michelle Ray just gave you $24.99 what? as a super chat. Thank you Michelle. so much, Michelle. Too kind. No questions or High anything. High five. Just, wow. Just flat out donation. Thank you so much. I see that right here. You are so darn sweet. L. Dang. Lincoln, robot, what? So Kurt says, what do you say to all the doctors on YouTube saying plant-based is the way to go? They say keto is terrible. Listen, everyone has their own opinion. But there's a lot of things out there that say plant-based is not the way to go. Plants are good, and a plant-based diet will give you a short-term uh, good feeling or a short-term good outcome. But long-term, it's lacking the proper nutrition that a uh, good paleo diet is going to give you. And I'm talking about good. I mean grass-fed beef, pasture-raised chicken, and pasture-raised pork, like the one from Thrive Market. Those have essential minerals, proteins, and other nutrients that plants don't have, like that a uh, documentary on Netflix about the vegan athletes. It's so narrow-minded. My friend Thomas did a video about that. It skips over so many important things. Eat a lot of plants, yes, but eat really good beef and pork and chicken to combine with that. Whereas like factory farmed beef is gonna have GMO and a horrible fatty acid profile. Pasture-raised pork from Thrive Market is where it's at. Pasture-raised bacon. Bacon isn't a saturated fat that's gonna clog your arteries, right? Uh, Pasture-raised, grass-fed ghee Plant is not a fat like they make you get scared that's going to clog your arteries. This is not, right? This is a healthy, saturated fat. What's going to clog your arteries is when you eat processed, refined vegetable oils like canola oil, rapeseed oil, and soybean oil. And when you combine that crap with sugar, lots of salt, and starchy carbs like flour, corn, and gluten, that's how you get fat, sick, and nearly dead. That's why the keto paleo diet is the way to go to make you lose weight and feel great, you guys. What is the best pre-workout food on keto? I keep, and if I ask that, I'm gonna focus on this. Somebody asked Yeah, I keep getting that question. I have to look into pre-workouts. I don't know anything about them. Um, I'm gonna do another collaboration with them, but if you go to secowineclub.com, you can get three bottles or more of the keto wine. What do I mean by, what do I mean by keto wine? I mean, it's the only wine in the world that has a nutritional label, and there's only 0.2 grams of sugar and carbs. And uh, use Flav City promo code at checkout. You'll get $15 off shipping. Yeah. Alan Bermontis Jr. just gave you $5. Thank you for all you do from Johnsburg, Illinois. Thank you, Alan, Thank my you. man. So I'm really excited because Art and I picked up a chest freezer from Costco. We got a big seven-foot chest freezer. We took an Uber home because it wouldn't fit in Art's back seat. And I started to fill it up uh, this week. I filled it up with grass-fed beef from that company, actually, uh, Shepherd Meat, that, that uh, Flav City fan. And I loaded it up with pasture-raised pork from Thrive Market. And I have three more boxes of pork and seafood coming from them. But for me, I love good quality pork. And the grocery store is full of so much factory farmed pork 
So once again, I know I keep preaching it, but they are the sponsor of this live stream. In the description box, use that link to get a $20 shopping credit on Thrive Market when you place your first order. And the, here's the deal, if you don't like it or you feel like it's too expensive for the annual membership fee, cancel in the first 30 days. They'll give you your money back, but you'll keep that $20 shopping credit. And I want you to experience and at least try the pork bundle that has pork chops, bacon, ground pork, breakfast sausage, and more. And then worst comes to worst, you got 20 bucks off and there's no uh, annual fee. But I've been a member for over two and a half years. I've saved thousands of dollars because at the grocery store, you can get stuff that's usually more expensive. The same stuff on Thrive Market is way cheaper and they have a price scanner on the app that tells you in store. Oh, uh, this on Thrive is 30% cheaper. It's really cool. Uh, Bobby and Art, you recommended Norwegian salmon, but Thomas DeLauer said to be careful of Norwegian salmon because they are currently under scrutiny from the mercury content. Can you clarify on that? Um, yeah, so listen, even though Norwegian salmon some of the best, not all Norwegian salmon is good. You have to know where it comes from. So like a place like Whole Foods, they source the best quality Norwegian salmon and you don't have to worry about heavy metal uh, contaminants like mercury, but not all Norwegian salmon is the best. Uh, we got Erica just bought the book. Love you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, pork boxes out of stock on Thrive Market? No! Oh no, that's horrible. Well, click the button that says like remind me when it comes back. Or in the meantime, get like the, uh, the ghee or get the, um, get the other stuff that I like. I love the ghee and I love the coconut milk a lot. Chris the Spang Man says, I'm down 35 pounds on IF and keto, 35 to go. See me fat in the HEB video, LOL. <laughs> oh my God, it's there awesome. Go, Chris. Intermittent fasting and keto. Chris, from uh, he was our guide in Austin. I'd love to hear that. Take us around. Angela just got the ebook. I wanna Anthony, print it out. You can't print it out, unfortunately, Angela. Anthony Doe just gave you 10 pounds. 10 pounds? A big hide at the Flav City family from the Tony currently at ah, work in the House of Commons. Oh, that's the same oh, one. Yeah. That's, wait, wait, I don't understand. How are you currently at work? So right now it's 11.30 at night on a Friday night and you're working at the House of Commons? Hey, if that's true. This super chat, man. This keto wine is for you. Yeah, do opine. We'd like to know more. Wow, okay, let's think what we're doing. We're gonna check this in a second and then we're gonna blend it up in my thermomix. And then we gotta start cooking the pork chops and then with the sticky bits from the pork chops, we're gonna make a horseradish cream sauce. One of the few times in this house, I'm actually using dairy, but what kind of dairy am I gonna use? The best quality heavy cream on the market, organic heavy cream. I wish they made a uh, pasture raised, grass fed heavy cream, but they don't. Now, how do you know when the cauliflower, cauliflower is ready? Cause you don't wanna over boil it, otherwise it gets waterlogged. So take a piece out here, put it on the side, and then come here. Mash it with your fork. It should be mashable, but have a little give left, and that's perfect, right? So that looks perfect. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna drain. Why but, is Irish butter so much better? Irish butter is, uh, butter is better because number one, it's made with European, uh, European style butter, so it has a higher butter fat percentage. Automatically out of the gate, that's gonna win, and Irish butter is, uh, butter is better because it also is grass-fed 80% of the year. Taylor wants to know why you didn't steam the cauliflower. Um, because it's much quicker to do this, and I had so much, Taylor, I just felt uh, like I didn't want to bother. But here's what the deal. To make this even better, roast the cauliflower at 450 degrees for 35 minutes, and then whip it up with some warm cream or warm almond milk, and it's unbelievable. M. Byrne watching from Germany. Guten Abend. He's yeah, so going back, European butter is always going to be better because it has higher butter fat. Butter and fat, uh, especially fat, is flavor. More fat is what you want when it comes to butter. American butter has more water. Why would I pay for water when I want more fat in butter, right? It makes no sense. So, all right, let's put the mash in here. And in the meantime, I'm going to crank this soldier boy up here. What's up, man? Deep? On the Mama cast iron Carol pan. Quebec. Let's pinch in a little more Welcome. salt. Look at the color art of that beautiful uh, Celtic sea salt. That's unrefined gray salt. And then we have the garlic in there. Let's put a little bit of pecorino romano. So I love pecorino because it's a little bit cheaper than Parmesan, but it's a sheep's milk cheese from Roma and it's aged and it's salty and it's nutty and it's just so darn good. I buy the big wheel from Costco 
Right. You... Amanda Esposito just gave you a four ninety nine super chat. Amanda and just ordered your book. Wow, Arri que paso. Arriving Sunday. Can't wait. I love wait, it. Wait, wait, I wait. love it. Thank you, Amanda. Can't and if you wait like to start it, cooking the Bobby way. And if you like it, you let us know what recipes you made, and please leave the Amazon review. Thank Once you. again, you guys, doesn't matter where you live in the world. Just search Flav City on Amazon. That book's gonna sh uh, show up, and right below it will be our ebook shopping guide, which is a Kindle only book. You don't need the Kindle uh, device, you just need the Kindle app. And that'll help you with shopping guides and knowing what ingredients and what products are Bobby approved, right? So I got great in a lot of cheese. You put me on that pecorino, Bobby, the poor man's palm. That's right, I love it. Isn't it so good? I wouldn't call it poor man's, but what's gonna make this over the top? Wait, no. Samantha Lynn, you're watching in Finland? You said we don't in have Finland? Amazon in Finland. Does that mean you're in Finland? Oh, right Finland, that's Devil art. Cool. That's yeah, art country. Course. How do we feel about Finland in this kitchen? How many that? guys have this in their kitchen? That's right. That's art, he's the Finnish horse, right? Right there. So what's going to make this fantastic? We take that grass-fed ghee. Smell this. All right. Uh, Reagan, Walter, and Samantha, and Natalie. Smell that. Do they put water in butter? Because you keep talking about the water content. Um, well, it's no. Just, it's, it's, it's just naturally occurring. Yeah, right? it's a naturally occurring fat. It has more fat percentage. They, they expel more of the water. Yes, the European method exactly. Than, uh... So this goes in here. This, I kind of think, is like movie theater butter, right? That like nasty... Stuff is normally made from hydrogenated, but it smells and tastes so good. This is the real deal, and it's so good. Got some breaking news here from breaking Aiden news? C. Ten dollars. Upgraded all my kitchen using your videos. Got your cookbook and signed up for Thrive Market. Have Boom. Pounds so far. Boom. Aiden, working out, feeling great. Thanks, guys. Keep the vids coming. Thank Aiden, you so much. Aiden, that's how we do it, homie. That, see, it's not hard. I just think it's overwhelming. I get so many emails now. I get at least a dozen emails every day. I'm trying to keep up, but a lot of people say, hey, I, I stumbled upon you, and... I'm a little overwhelmed, like where do I start? And I think you started just watching a lot of our videos and then realizing what are the bad ingredients in your fridge, in your pantry, but once you get on the path, you see it really well and then it's easy, right? I always say it's like Neo in the Matrix. Like once you see it and you take the green pill, is it art? The red pill. Take the red pill, the green there was, pill. There was no green The blue pill. pill. Red and blue. You need to rewatch the Matrix. True, the blue pill, you go back to your life, yeah, right? Go back to the normal. So red pill, then you see everything. You're like, oh, butter. No, that's American butter, that's GMO. I want European butter that's grass fed. You can just see it really well, right? Thank you so much, man, Dave. Let me double check I have everything in that. Uh... So I can go keto, mash, flavor. Dave says, I honestly have to give it up to Art. I love your energy. I love how you compliment this channel. And Bobby, both of you guys are down to earth people and literally the most genuine people I've wow. seen. Wow. Thanks so much, too kind. Of that's very, very nice of you. Thank you so much. Art and I are a dynamic duo. Some people who are new to the channel think we're a lovely gay couple and use the hashtag couple goals. The girl today at uh, checking out at Whole Foods, Art and I were bagging while Desi and Rose were in the back. She's like, oh, what are you guys doing tonight for Valentine's Day? I'm like, oh, we're just gonna cook dinner. She's like, oh, how long have you guys been dating? I'm like, no, no, we're not dating. I mean, but you know, he's gonna join us for dinner. And I joked, okay. I should have said that, oh, we're actually a thruple, but I didn't get a chance Kate to do Brown that. wants to know what that cheese was again. It was Pecorino, Pecorino Romano. Pecorino Romano. You can get it anywhere. The best price is Costco. The second best price would probably be Trader Joe's. Bobby, so no how do you feel about art in this Coca-Cola? <laughs> That's art being art. You gotta love it. Tom What's Dalton. the Coca-Cola? It's like the real thing? It's, it's the real thing, right? Can't beat the real thing. Tom Belton's in the house. Tommy! Harsha said, when watching your first video, we actually thought you and Art were a couple. <laughs> hey, you I understand. Eventually. It's all good. It's all good. It's just funny. Okay, so OMG. By the way, this is the Thermal Mix. If you follow me on Instagram, I've been doing a lot of collaborations with them. I'll be going to them with the South Beach uh, Food and Wine Show next week. It's a machine that chops, cooks, preps, sous vide, slow cooks. It's an amazing, amazing device. And I'm really, really down with it. But it whips like nobody's business, and it's a like stainless steel carafe or mixing bowl as opposed to most uh, blenders having plastic. But look at this art. Look at the texture. Tell someone in your family that you made mashed potatoes. That looks like mashed potatoes that are whipped, right? But check it for seasoning. There's a good chance it needs more salt. What do you think, Art? I always say that. Do you think it will need more seasoning? This time, yes. Yeah, I think it'll need a lot more cheese. Let's see. No, it's perfect. Are you kidding me? It is. 
You give taste a, it. Give me a spoon. No, you taste I it now. I don't believe you. Let's get Art on camera here. Now, maybe you can use more cheese, but in terms of seasoning, it's perfect. Everyone say hi to Art, by the, the way. The cheese has a lot of salt, so. Hi, everybody. Um, organic spices. Doesn't need, that, doesn't need any more. Right? It's perfect. That doesn't happen often. That's twice <laughs> in total. <laughs> the um, second time. I buy happened. organic spices at uh, Whole Foods by the ounce. Art, why don't you show people your mystery bag right now? It's not a mystery because I put it on Instagram. So, a store that looks familiar here called Bucky's. It's kind of a staple in Texas, famous for clean bathrooms. But then they sell a lot of these. Aye, aye. Beaver nuggets. Beaver nuggets, y'all. Hit the thumbs up if you like the beaver nuggets. Let's show the Anyways, ingredients real quick. Bobby's never had these, so I thought. Look at the ingredients, you guys. Brown sugar, cornmeal, corn syrup, palm oil, benzoate, natural flavors, artificial flavors, artificial butter flavor. My body might convulse and just like puke them. All this just means delicious. <laughs> but I didn't stop there because I bought every flavor they have too. So I can get the full experience of the cinnamon, whatever those are called. Uh, cinnamon sweet. And the sea salted caramel beaver, beaver nuggets. So wow. anyways. Why don't you open them? Let's try one let's now. Let's try them now. Let's try them now. Do a selfie style. All right, let's do a selfie. Come over here, Art. What are the comments saying? Let's stay away people, from the... A lot of people board. are very intrigued They're here. They're worried. They're worried. Like, listen, I don't mind having something like this once in a while, but this is like... You, you, I'll try. It's not going to... This is the garbage of the garbage. No, no, no. I will literally... I'll try one. I'm not the kind of guy who's like, no, I can't put it in my body, but... ASMR would probably work to this. It's delicious. It's crunchy, sweet, yeah, a little salty. Yeah, it actually kind of tastes like Garrett's popcorn. Okay. Caramel, just a little bit. All right, let's try another one. We'll go with the uh, cinnamon, cinnamon sweet. Cinnamon sweet, look at that fancy packaging. Yeah. But the, the real, the old original, they just go clear bag. Yeah. It's more fancy with this one. I mean, if you ate more than a handful of that, you might get a headache and bad things would happen. Ooh. You it's got really, a good nose. You smell the terroir. <laughs> wow, look at that. Uh, Cinnamon nugget. I'm just gonna try a bite. Very sweet. Wow. Sweeter than the original. That's yeah. super sweet. It tastes like um cinnamon toast crunch. I thought that. And now they're getting fancy with the sea salt, right? Wow. Sea salt caramel. Sea salted caramel. That could be good because it's salty and sweet. Jake Moore, no, we're not a couple. <laughs> I think we just covered that. Like, I think we just minutes. talked about that for a minute, but wow, it's all good. you just got a super chat, 279 Canadian. How do you stay so huh. energetic day after day? Because live streams and helping you guys is my fuel. I like the saltiness of that one. I think I like the original best, then this, then the other one. Yeah, original is still the best. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Art, for bringing that back from Texas. Thanks for trying. And for poisoning my body. <laughs> <laughs> You, uh, need to, you need to experience a bucket. No, you do. I'm all about experience around. I'm never going to be like... go to one is what I'm saying. Yeah, I want to go there. The toilets. I want to use the toilet there, of Clean course. Toilets. You're throwing away, it's, as they say. So getting back to business, this is the keto cauliflower mash. The recipe is in the description box. The pork chop recipe is in the description box. It's all there. The Thrive Market link is there. So now, our pork chops that are pasture-raised bone-in are marinating. You can see the salt brought a little bit of moisture to the surface. That dissolves the salt, and it brings the spices down in to the pork chops. Now things get interesting. We take the pasture raised, actually, I'm sorry, it's not pasture raised, it's Gap 4 certified. They're transitioning to pasture raised. Bad pickle pork teas fat. is the source of most Very of the true. shirts, so Google them. Okay, come over here, Ardio. Let's put some of that pork fat. What did Emerald say about pork fat back in the day? Pork fat rules. So we have a pretty hot cast iron pan here, right? I'm gonna take my pork chops, and before I put them in there, I'm gonna grab- Don't forget the sides, Bobby. Oh, I think Chris is, I was looking at that too. Like you didn't put any spices on the fat, on the- uh, Oh, yeah, good idea. Let me do that real quick. And while you do that, wow. Super Tats just rolled right in. Wow. Jesse Seminara, 1499. Loving you guys from Wallingford, Connecticut. Wow. And then Imjin- Show what I'm doing here. Press down when it goes in the pan so it makes max contact. You really want super severe caramelization here. Imjin just gave you $4.99 and a question. What do you think about monk fruit sweetener with erythritol, AKA from Costco? Yeah, so I'm totally fine with that because the Lakanto monk fruit sweetener that I've actually endorsed before. Thank you guys. Is non-GMO and it has to be mixed with uh, monk fruit because monk fruit is 300 times sweeter than sugar and they make it a one-to-one -one sub for sugar. So it has to have that blend and it's non-GMO and it's a really good flavor and I'm totally fine with it. 
Uh, so thank you, MJ. Jesse, loving you guys from Wallingford, Connecticut. Love to hear that. Thank you so much, you guys. You guys are so darn nice. I live in Chicago. Where was that Whole Foods that had the paleo banana cacao strip you ate? Uh, Ashland and Belmont, the same place we were there to, uh, Ash, today. Ashbell is what we call Ashbell. it. Ashbell. Would drinking apple cider vinegar help lower Bobby's blood sugar? My blood sugar? <laughs> Actually, you know what I bought the other day? It wouldn't help lower blood sugar. It'll help your gut. I bought this at Walmart. It's apple cider vinegar raw with turmeric and honey. And it's a prebiotic because it feeds the gut bacteria in your body. And it's a, there we go. It's a Connecticut company or Vermont company. That's Bernie Sanders maybe company right there. And delicious stuff. I'm all about stuff that fosters the gut bacteria, which is why I bought a to Desi for Marie Kondo in the fridge. She said, Bobby, stop putting stuff everywhere. Baby food goes here. Yogurt goes here. Meat goes here. And I bought today, this is my new favorite kefir drink. Harmless Harvest is making this dairy yogurt drink, a dairy-free yogurt drink that has live and active cultures. Now, someone noticed in my video that it does say it has a little bit of organic cultured dextrose, but it has zero added sugars. This is the starter. It's a fermented product, so I'm okay with that because it literally is a drop and it's for starter purposes. This is what you can give your baby after 10 months also to foster the good gut bacteria. Are you going to be selling your cookbooks at the meetup? Um, I'm probably going to bring maybe five or ten. We have so much stuff to carry there. Um, but bring your own. Bring your own for sure. And um, But I will bring some. Now, the goal, I'm going to cook this just like Cooks Illustrated teaches you how to cook a steak, meaning you sear it for one to two minutes over high heat on each side, then you lower the temperature so the sear mark doesn't go too deep, but it's still really, really tasty. So let's just sear it. How do we feel about this? Should I flip it now or let it keep going? Flip it real good or not? That looks pretty good. What do you think, Art? Let's flip it. You think so? Okay. Yeah. Let's flip it. I'm going to put it back over there. I just don't want to... That looks good for the first. Somebody asked about a Nutella replacement. Um, the only one you can really do is buy Nutso, and it's their chocolate one. The other ones on the market are garbage. I was at Costco and they have a big bag of roasted hazelnuts. I'm thinking that with your Thermomix, we should like do a Nutella, homemade Nutella. Desi was supposed to do that last year. She didn't get around to it, but it would basically be like, come over and say hi, man. Uh, it would basically be like uh, hazelnuts, probably cocoa, cocoa, a little bit of coconut sugar. But I don't think you can get that real creaminess because they put palm oil in theirs which is really hydrogenated, and you can't get that without it. So it's going to be a little tough, but let me see what I can do. Woodman's has a lot of great stuff. Would love to see Bobby go into a Woodman's. Yeah, I got to go there one day. So also tomorrow at the meetup, we're going to have collagen water. We're going to have keto wine. We're going to have S water. Fluff and Stuff wants Desi to do a beauty overhaul video. Desi, you're, want, you're wanted to do a beauty overhaul video. How do you feel about that? You don't do a lot of beauty? Actually, that's a pretty common request. A lot of people ask uh, for that video. And a lot of people are asking me to start reviewing like detergents, soaps, and like toothpaste. I'm going to think about going into that. So if you want to see that, let me know here. I'm also seeing hashtag woke city. <laughs> woke city? Oh my God, that's hilarious. I'm also seeing the art fan club. <laughs> yeah, Jim, they asked me. So the executive vice president of... Costco, he saw our videos and he said, please don't film there anymore. It's store policy. And I, hey, if they ask you from the top brass to stop, you got to stop. That's kind of being a victim of your own success. But uh, I think what we're going to do is we'll shop there. I might take some still photos and we'll come back here and review it here. But nothing's the same as doing it in store, unfortunately. People also want to see a pet food review. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's on my list too. Really? So okay. pet food review, detergents and soaps. Um, I, have a, I have a massive list, you guys. I'm just going to chop some onions here for the pan sauce. So as soon as the pork chops come out, I will cook some onions and garlic, deglaze with some white wine, add some bone broth, add some heavy cream, salt and pepper, and it's done. How do I cut this very safely? I make planks across the sides here with my fingers perched on top. I make sticks across the bottom with my fingers tucked back. Hey, Desi, can your bread be frozen? Which one? The paleo um, bread. Probably paleo bread. The paleo bread? Yeah. For sure. Yeah. 
What about the keto bread? They didn't specify, but that too. Absolutely, I would slice it and freeze it. JQ Augusto just gave you ten dollars. Wow! Thank you, Art, Desi, and Beautiful Rose for all the awesome videos on YouTube, Instagram, and your blog. So much info, love it. You cook so much. Do you compost? FYI, your audio gets distorted sometimes. Interesting. Um, no, we don't compost. Um, I think when we move to another house, we will, but we don't right now. All right, check it out. So here's what's going on. I flipped them again. They're looking great but I don't want to overcook these. What temperature do you recommend me pulling these at, Art? You're targeting what, 140 something? Final target I want to final go, final, final target, about. final destination I'm looking for 145 to 147. Yeah. What do you think, pull it at 140? Yeah, I think even like 138. Would be. Okay. With pasture raised pork, it's so clean, it's so low risk, you can really get it like on the lower end of medium. So I'm going to insert a probe thermometer to make sure we don't overcook it. Mmm, tasty. Let's just see where we're at now. People are liking the hashtag woke city. <laughs> woke city. I love yeah, that term, it's, woke. It's, it's cold over here too. People are talking about being cold up north. It's negative something. Let's well, check it out, Art. Here's birds. how I know I'm not going to overcook my pork. I use a probe thermometer. I put it right in the middle and it's 120. So right now it's still rare. We cannot pull it yet. Right? And I, I, I can't leave it in here right now because I'm going to flip these. So I'll just take it out for the time being. But that's the beauty of the probe thermometer. If you want the probe in any of my kitchen gear, it's all on Amazon, right? It's not my products, but go to amazon.com slash shop slash Flav City. Before the holidays, I put 85 of my kitchen items there for you to watch. Holy what the crap. heck just came across here? Michelle Crozier, Kiaha, $99.99. Just got home from the Safeway. Grocery shop. My eyes like almost fell out of my eyes. I saw I Art's face. Grocery shopping takes longer because I read all labels now, but my husband really appreciates all I'm learning from you. Aloha and mahalo. Holy Mwah. Nikes. Thank you. Hey, listen, Thank I you. keep hearing that comment. It takes longer, but at least you know what you're getting. But give yourself a few more months and you'll be trained so quickly that you'll know to buy, what to buy, what to avoid, all that good stuff. $100, thank, thank you. you. And right after that, Mandalor the Mandalorian the, the man came through with $2. If you guys come east, can you do a Wegmans review? Yeah, for sure. Oh my gosh. We're overdue for a- uh, Chat City, thank you guys. That's so crazy, cool. guys. Thank you so much. So yeah, when you're first learning to read everything, it will take longer, but you're gonna learn really quickly what to identify and know the good from the well, bad, sure. that your shopping actually will take you a lot quicker. When I go to the store now, I'm in and out because I know the inventory in my head of everything that's good and bad. Wow, that's like the largest super chat. I think oh, by far. Time. All right, so I turned the temperature of the pan down to medium low because like I said, I don't want that sear mark to go too deep. And now I'll put the uh, probe back in the meat, right in the middle like that. How did you decide to go to UW-Madison? Um, it was close to home and I didn't want to stray too far, to be honest. If you come east, would you also do a BJ shopping haul? Yeah, we're overdue for a BJ's haul for sure. Is vegetable pasta really any better than regular? Um, yeah, because it's a complex carbohydrate. So absolutely, is it better? We're talking about bean pasta. So our luck, we're at 140 here on this one. Yeah, I mean, still, it is a grain. It's not paleo, so you really want to limit that. And this is 140. All right, these guys are done. says, Bobby, say money, please. Money? Oh, money. <laughs> like that. Oh, that's funny. So what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to open up my... What do you think about, you think about Kirkland's marinara sauce? Um, I've never tried it. I've never tried it. You guys know how I feel about Rayo's. They have my heart. So I'm going to take these. Forget Gordon Ramsay, Bobby, for the win. <laughs> I'm going to put them in my mini oven here mini. and just set it on warm, mini, on mini. very low temperature here. Right? Because you have to let those rest. All right, what would happen if you uh, cut into those right now? The juices would just like pool everywhere. It'd be horrible. It'd be the, dry, the driest piece of pork you shouldn't have had. Yeah, it probably won't be the driest, not, but not, not it'll dry. be very dry. Your blue light is still flashing, by the oh, way. Oh, sorry. Blue light uh, special. Blue light special. Yeah, guys, when it's really hot well, out of it the... It was appropriate because Jose Silva just came in with a $2 super chat. Que paso, Jose. of homemade healthy smoothie, please. Um, yeah, so if you actually search Flav City smoothie recipes, I have three that Thomas DeLauer and I made together in his kitchen. And... Um, I might be doing a collaboration with Daily Harvest 
they make the most amazing frozen smoothies. Initially, they reached out to me. I was like, oh, I like making my own smoothies. But they sent me a, uh, a free box. The flavors and ingredients are so high quality and so creative, I was sold. And because I have the new chest freezer out there, I ordered like 12 new smoothies. So um, I have recipes on my blog, but stay tuned because I'll have a promo code with them too. And it's really good stuff. Denise Marley is late to the party, but she's watching from Australia. Oh, nice. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. And I've also heard somebody say that uh, there is better than Rouse. And somebody said Rouse is expensive. Well, not if you buy it at uh, Costco, it's not. Listen, the best one's got to be Rouse, Antina Cucci, uh, Cucina, uh, Lucini, and Victoria. I can't think of any better ones. So, Art, look, come over here. I'm looking at my blog right now. Here's the website. By the way, the recipe's in the description box. So, it's the pork chops. We've got to make this sauce here. So, I'm using the fond or the leftover bits in the pan. I'm going to cook the onions. Then I'm going to add a third of a cup of white wine. And instead of chicken stock, I'm going to use bone broth heavy cream, stone, jean, uh, stone ground mustard, horseradish, and parsley. That's gonna make the most yummy pan sauce. So let's cook those onions for a few minutes. Let's add some salt. So because we have the pasture-raised pork, I, I know it's gonna be delicious. What's Bobby's, that? Bobby's audio is going in and out at times. <laughs> Maybe it's weird when I lean over like that. I don't know. That's I don't know. So all right, check out my box here. So here's what I got also in my Thrive Market box. I got more ghee. I get a lot of cleaning supplies on there too. I got some sponges because I go through these like crazy. NH just gave you 99 cents. Oh my gosh, thank, thank you. you. And I oftentimes talk about the coconut milk there. I only buy my coconut milk from Trader Joe's and Thrive because they have no gum. So if you look at here at the ingredients, look, it's just coconut, where's the, uh, right here, coconut milk and water. Coconut milk extract, that's basically the meat. Gums are very common here, but you don't need the gums, right? It's not necessary at all. Does your cookbook have gluten-free recipes? The cookbook is 100% gluten-free. It's keto paleo. There's not one grain in here. Where we don't we do that it? at all. Amazon.com. Just search Flav City on Amazon. Anywhere you live in the world, it'll ship. There's not one drop of gluten. This is a gluten-free, dairy-free, for the most part, uh, kitchen. We don't eat any grains, right? And once again, I'm going to keep... Uh, saying it because they're sponsoring the live stream. If you're new to the channel and you haven't tried Thrive Market yet, in the description box is my promo code. Check them out. You get that $20 shopping credit. I heard they're sold out right now of the pork bundle. Wait for it to come in or get the ghee. And then if you don't like them, you cancel in the first 30 days and you get your annual membership fee back, but you get that $20 credit. So it's basically trying it out Risk-free, you get 20 bucks for free and get the best pork you've ever, ever had. I want to give Gretchen Andrews in New Jersey some advice. Yes. She's talking about raw as being uh, almost $8 for an average size bottle. Go to Costco. If you're yep. not a member, find a friend who is. Go there. They'll sell you two bigger bottles than you've ever seen at any other grocery store for about 9 bucks or, what is it, 10 bucks? Uh, for $9. Oh, I think they raised the price now to like $10. Okay, but a much better deal. And some Super Chats just came in. Oh, my gosh. Dinora Quintanilla, $5. God bless you guys. My family and I are grateful for the good work. Excellent information. Flav City is part Thank of my life. Thank you so Tom much. And Tom Dalton, $1.99. BJ's is owned by Costco, so I hear. No. That's what he says. BJ's is owned by Costco? Why would they do that? That sounds like... Well, thank you guys. Self-cannibalizing themselves. Where's the best place to get steak? Well, to be honest, you can get steak at Walmart. They have amazing grass-fed steak now. They have flank steaks. They have uh, flat iron steaks. They have amazing selections there. Spangman says, tell Costco you will stop filming if they put your book in each store. Yeah, I know. Wouldn't, wouldn't that be funny if they're like, well, no, they're not going to carry your book at all. And you're banned from filming here. I can still do uh, Instagram stories there, right? I just can't film the YouTube videos. Otherwise, hmm, weird. Hmm, that's weird. Otherwise, I might be getting a letter from their lawyer, which I don't want. Bobby, how do you feel about Panda Express? <laughs> I think it's toxic. That's what I think. So, all right, look at the color of the onions. See how they're, because they were cooking that residual turmeric and spice rub, they're getting all the flavor from that, which is really nice. Man, I can't open this bottle of wine. Have you tried here. Butcher Box's steaks? Um, no, that was asking. Yeah, um, I haven't tried their steak. They sent me some of their grass fed beef. It's pretty much the same, to be honest, as uh, Thrive Market. So this is weird. I can't use the twisty thing in here because it won't latch on. And this old school thing is just eating up the cork instead of uh, going down. Look what happens, That's guys. I put this thing in here. 
I'm afraid the thing's gonna go in. I wonder how long that $99 uh, super chat will stay at the top there. Look at this. I can't, I got nowhere to catch. You gotta apply a lot of side pressure. Like, oh, smart. Sommelier. Art the sommelier. Christian, Christian Shipley, $4.99. I'll be traveling soon. Is a salad my best and cleanest choice at restaurants? Um, depends what restaurant. I yeah, guess. depends what restaurant. But right. yeah, they're they're probably going to use a crappy oil for the dressing. But yeah, to be honest, salad is the best. When Art and I were in Austin for the uh, festival we were at, I bobbified my order. So I said, "Hey, give me this salad. Don't put your crappy dressing on there. Just give me olive oil on the side with some lemon." And then I ordered a grass-fed burger. I was 100% grass-fed, no bun. And I said, put the burger on the salad and I just dressed it with olive oil and lemon. So don't be afraid to ask. Like, I will ask for anything in a restaurant. I'm like, I don't want cheese on that. Sub out this from that. I'm very picky, but I don't care. I, I, you know, I'm more than happy to tip them well and this and that. But mix and match, take grass-fed beef, put it on a good uh, salad, get rid of the dressing. Easy peasy, right? Lemon squeezy. Okay, so now that's cooked. Let me double check my recipe here. Man, that keto wine is delicious. So like I said, Art and I might be going to, with Desi and Rose to Tuscany for the harvest season. And we're gonna learn about that wine. And they invited me to cook in their kitchen every day. So uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, where's the recipe? Here we go. So a third of a cup of wine. This is not the keto wine. I don't have any white keto wine because I really only drink uh, red wine in the winter. And then we'll just cook that down. This will be a reduction. And then I'll add some bone broth and some heavy cream. So we're kind of- Red wine in winter? Yeah. What's up with that? Well, it goes, it's hearty. It goes with oh. the meat. I'm actually not a typically a white wine drinker, to be honest. I like white wine and rosé in the summer, but in the winter time, I want a hearty red. This one's great, but they also have other organic wines on their estate. We had this one last week. It's from the same uh, vineyard called Grand Noir. It's such a bold, delicious, organic keto wine. I paired it with, uh, so I did make, I made bean pasta, I made pasta made of chickpeas, and I made a homemade dairy-free vodka sauce with some Rayos, some dairy-free Alfredo from Primal Kitchen, and this paired with that pasta so well. It was delicious. I'll have promo codes for you guys uh, in a couple weeks. They wanted to sponsor some uh, product. What's up, Art? Tom Dalton just came through with a dollar ninety-nine and a question or a comment. Native Forest also makes a no guar coconut. They do, but it's three ninety-nine and the Thrive Market one. Thank you much. Tom. And the Trader Joe's is one ninety-nine. Hey guys, by the way, in case I forget, if you live in Miami and you're going to be at the South Beach Food and Wine Show next weekend, I will be there all three days at the Grand Tasting Tent with Thermomix. So come by and say hi. And I believe it's sold out, but we're doing a free. Uh, meet and greet, a pop-up event in Miami on Friday the 21st. You can search online for Thermomix Pop-Up Miami, but I think my session sold out. They only had 75 spaces and 275 people signed up, so it was crazy. Michelle Posey gave you $1.99 and says, thank you for all the good info, so grateful. Thank you, Michelle. So, Thanks so much. We'll go back into our Marie kondo fridge here. And you just got $20 and a pair that is oh, let me like see. doing a dance Whoa! with a pair. Love, you are amazing. Love good, what's the name? That is an amazing dance. Love good music? It's like, maybe? hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. Hello, hello my, my sunshine. Son, <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you so much. That's too kind. Okay, so now we'll take now a little bit. Space balls is in my head. <laughs> and Jonathan Hill, $1.99, first live. You guys are super dope. Love it, no, dude. you are. Thank so, you. So we're always going to have a lot of newcomers on here now because the channel, you guys, is growing like, right? We literally, like, since January 1st, I believe we've picked up, uh, I want to say over 110,000 subscribers. It's been totally crazy. The march to a million is, the million subscriber march is Andres real. Andres asks, what are the three spices on the pork? Three spices are, right here, take a look, Art. Right, we kind of crowdsourced that and we did it together. And then I got to see what goes in the pan next. A little bit of chicken stock and then heavy cream stone ground mustard and horseradish no offense art horseradish oh yeah so pretty easy recipe right but the sauce is the boss i rarely eat dairy but art and i filmed this video sometime last year 
and the combination of the organic heavy cream with the, uh, the pan drippings and the wine and the bone broth is riquissimo. So delicious. So darn tasty. Where did you and Desi meet? Where did Desi and I meet? That's a good question for Valentine's Day. Desi, come over and say hi. Everyone wants to see you for V-Day. Um, What's that? I'm busy. <laughs> You're busy opening Amazon packages. Get over here. Come on. <laughs> Desi and I met in November of 2008. Let's tell, let's tell the story together, sweetie. I got some time to kill here anyway. No, why don't you guys go to the first live stream we did? I told like the longest story ever. It was like 20 uh, minutes. I told the entire story. On a live stream? Yeah. I don't remember that. Yeah. On YouTube? Yeah. How oh, interesting. We met at a young professionals event in 2008. Our eyes locked from across the room, right? <laughs> and then we were kind of like talking and flirting and you know touching and having a good time all night and our friends were hitting it off. And then I did something I never do. I asked her for uh, lunch the next day. The normal player would say, yeah. hey, you can't text for three days. But I said, no, give me your number. We set a date for the next day yeah. and we had a great lunch. And then the second date was dinner at my house. I made some uh, miso marinated yeah. cod. We had dinner on the veranda with the sunset and the rest is history, right? Yeah, and then 10 years later, we're spending Valentine's Day at a grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> so romantic. With art and Rose. Yeah. Where else would you rather be, to be honest? Nowhere, right? nowhere I'd rather be. And Desi's new haircut too, right? Pretty exciting, you guys. Pretty exciting. Well, if I may cut in for a moment. Please do, Art. Raquel Lusania just gave you $4.99. Happy Valentine's. Aww. Just, Aww, just so want sweet. to hear Art say my name. Ha <laughs> you're so sweet. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, I'm going to add some bone broth now. What's our ETA, Bevel? ETA is about 15 minutes. Ooh, yay. Yeah. Desi, help yourself with some beaver nuggets. We already got that party started. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll try. Go with the original one, the clear bag. Okay. The you original. Gotta, you gotta start there. Art's like the Somalia there. So these are a proprietary blend of uh, ingredients. Of, good, of goodness, yeah. You can really taste the essence of Texas <laughs> in there. The essence of beaver. I can taste the refined sugar. <laughs> Look at the try, ingredients. Try, try the other so you can, no, you, need to, you need to rank them. Look at the ingredients. That's the, that's the scary part. Welcome stuff says, Dusty, you look so beautiful. The ingredients are listed up front. They are not hiding anything. Hey, you got a compliment here. Dusty, you look, in all caps, so beautiful. I love your new hair. Oh, thank you. How can I meet and marry Art? Ooh, well, Go you, have, up. Get you, have up to, here. you have to make your way to Chicago. He's yeah. an eligible bachelor. Desi is goals. Oh, thank mm -hmm. you. Well, yeah, some people call Art and I couple goals, so. Mm. <laughs> oh my God, you're eating the other stuff too? Huh. Right, let's see here. The cook the wine, add the stock, cook for six minutes until reduced by half, add the cream, mustard, and horseradish. So guys, back first in the fridge here. Is, first ingredient is brown sugar, then corn syrup. That's what makes it so because good. Of the caramel. <laughs> it's because of the caramel. So how would you rank those three from your favorite to least favorite? We have our order. I, I really don't like this last one. Okay. Mm, I think the first one is good. Okay, I went uh, first, first the original, then the blue bag, then the red bag. The original and still the best. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this was. I'll drink weird. to that. Desi, how did you care for Rose when breastfeeding? How? Yeah, how did you care for Rose when breastfeeding? I'm just reading how, it. So. How did the breastfeeding go? Maybe is the question. Probably. The question is exactly as I read it. I yeah, can't interpret. Right. Well, <laughs> breastfeeding was very difficult for me because I didn't have enough breast milk and. Um, Thank God a friend of mine landed me some because she, she had a six month old. So thankfully I didn't have to uh, really give uh, Rose any formula. Uh, but uh, it's very, very tough. And uh, I can understand how a lot of women give up on that. Um, you need a lot of support. A lot of people to help you out through this process. And um, um, I'm glad that I had that support. And moreover, uh, Rose didn't give up on me, you know, she didn't give up on me. She uh, stuck with me and uh, kept me going. So I'm very grateful that I can still breastfeed her at eight months. And um, just getting the breast milk going uh, and even maintaining it is, is not easy as she's growing up and she's demanding more and more and more. So 
it's it's definitely a challenge, but I'm grateful I can uh, do it. It's stressful, Bobby, too. Bobby never has to buy roses for Dusty because they already have rose. Well said. Keto, keto and kibble, four ninety nine. <laughs> Do you and can you make no. kefir with heavy whipped cream? Thank you for this comment. No, if you're going to make kefir, you have to use either grass-fed milk or coconut water. Desi and I are not going to start doing that for a row. So like I showed earlier, you can either buy it in the store from grass-fed milk or this is my new favorite thing. This is coconut water and coconut meat kefir. Or you can buy the starter on Amazon like I we're going to do. my mouth from this. Let it's horrible, right? Let me, let me interrupt this. Ingrid Malara just gave a dollar ninety nine and said, "Happy Valentine's Day, Art." Ooh, thank you. Oh, nice. Happy Valentine's Day to you, Ingrid. That's right. Thank you, Ingrid. Thank you. Art has a lot of fun. I got a fan club fans. today, man. What There's kind of this... cream do I use? So if you're gonna, I rarely use cream because we're pretty much dairy free, but it's got to be organic. You cannot find any grass fed, but you can get organic. You know, Organic Valley's from Wisconsin too. Advice for being able to flirt and cook at the same like... time. <laughs> To me, cooking is second nature now, and we've been doing videos for eight years, so to me, I don't even think about like being on camera. I'm just talking to a friend. I'm talking to Art. I'm talking to my friends out there. So it's just practice, to be honest. Be my Valentine, says yeah. Art. Oh, wow. hey yo. Never seen a live stream of cooking show that's beyond that's awesome. 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 Thank you, TCAP. I appreciate that. Um, so Art, check out what's going on back here. I got the bone broth, and it's reducing quite nice. I'm, we're probably almost ready for the cream. So... Already, I mean, that's already good as is, right? Let's give that maybe 30 more seconds, then add the cream, and then these other ingredients are. This is gonna also thicken and tang the sauce. This is stone ground mustard, and why I love it, it has yellow and brown mustard seeds that offer texture, and visually, it's just really grainy. And then I have a little bit of bubbies from Canada, eh? The cheese heads are uniting. <laughs> a little bit of, I need to buy some more, some more horseradish. So this is a horseradish cream sauce, but the key, the kicker, is cooking it in that residual um, Thrive Market pork uh, fat. It's gonna be good. Look at Desi. Valentine's Day. Wow, is that I'm cheese too? To cleanse my palates. Well, that sounds after, like a grill. After Bucky's? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Nothing goes together like beaver nuggets and pecorino romano. I think so. All right. Let's put, all right, let's get a cream shot here. Hey, Doc, you got some cream music over there? I love the uh, so oh, spicy wow. bursts look at that. each mustard seed when I have Dijon. Beautiful. Look at, oh, my. Looks like a mandala, babe. Look at this. This is beautiful. Pardon me. Do you have any great poupon? <laughs> look at that. Like wow. Oh, Desi's watching on the uh, computer. Uh, where did Desi get her cardigan? <laughs> this is from, actually, uh, Chicago-based design wow, company called uh, Akira. Oh, you might need to stand close to Bobby's mic. Can, oh, yeah. You can all, you only find it in Chicago. It's called Akira. It's a, it's a clothing boutique. But I bought this one maybe six years ago, five years ago. I don't think it's available anymore. Hey, those are an Erica recommendation, right? Yeah. What supermarket dairy-free pizza? By far Capello's. Capello's makes the best dairy-free... I'm sorry. Get the Capello's crust and then put your own cheese on there. Otherwise, the best dairy-free one would probably be... Honestly, I don't know. I would just get that crust from Capello's and make your own with uh, Rayo sauce and cheese. That's what we did the other night for dinner. Can we send you money via Apple Pay with great appreciation? Oh, no, no. It's okay. Guys. Don't worry about it. The best way to support us is continuing to buy the book. The book now has been out for... Eight months. It has almost 1,100 five-star reviews on Amazon. Oh my God, 1,100? Yeah, yeah, isn't that crazy? It's been ranked wow. in the top 700 on Amazon now for months. You guys, there's 8 million books on Amazon. To be in the top 700 is crazy. So once again, to search Flav City, this book was made by Desi, Art, and I. Rose was in Desi's belly when we made this book. I cooked everything in the kitchen. Art and Desi took photos in what is now um, uh, Rose's bedroom. Every single recipe in the cookbook has a photo. Look at this. Every single recipe in the book has macros. Turkey meatloaf and cauliflower rice pilaf. Turkey uh, meatballs and slaw. Biscotti. Guacamole. Crispy cauliflower, uh, crispy uh, shrimp. Uh, shrimp with uh, roasted cauliflower curry. I mean, and every single one has detailed instructions, detailed macros, which were a pain in the butt. So just go on Amazon. Search Flav City, and like I said, please, if you have already bought the book and haven't left a review, Amazon loves reviews. So please do that. It really helps with our Amazon ranking, which 
matters a lot because when people search keto recipes or keto cookbook on Amazon, for our thing to come up first or second or third means huge, huge things. Megan Mayer, $20. Thanks. Bobby, oh. could never thank you enough for all the knowledge you passed on in your videos with wow. Art and your beautiful family. I've Amazing. turned into a Flav City addict. <laughs> and I always look forward to your next video and next book. That's thank my you, kind of addict. Are you guys excited to learn more about the first booze for babies? Because that's what we filmed today. Yep. Two Very videos. Excited. Are you guys excited for that? Hopefully, because we want to share. So we want to share a lot of stuff about that. We're thinking about writing a book about that too. Wolf Link 9000, $2. Love your Moroccan chicken, especially. Oh, it's delicious. That's my, favorite. that's my favorite recipe from the book, you guys. Beaver Nuggets or Texas Life. Whoa. Taste like sort of sugar corn pop cereal. <laughs> I think so. I, it's been a long time. I think so, all right, look at my sauce. You guys, this is really coming together right now. It actually is perfect consistency right now. Look at that. And it's grainy. I have to check it for seasoning though. Let me make sure I put everything in there. Uh, Desi looks beautiful. Love the hair. Art, the shirt is causing your women to go crazy. I've been married 32 years. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Oh, delicious. Woo, Lord mercy. That is dino. I do want a little more salt in there. And I want more tang. So I'm actually going to put more uh, Dijon. Can you do an Asian supermarket haul? Oh, which one? Asian supermarket yeah. hole. It's not a bad idea. I don't know too much about like super Asian-y sauces, but I know like, I know the bear stuff, which is why I did that Asian, search Flav City Asian condiments. We did that video a couple weeks ago and it covers like my keto, or I'm sorry, my Asian staples. Um, is, I want a little more liquid in there. Here which we go. is better, the ghee or the buttery coconut oil? Um, I would get the ghee because the buttery coconut oil um, I, I would just make that myself. There's no need to buy that. What are your thoughts on low carb tortillas? Um, the best store bought ones are from La Tortilla Factory. The other ones usually have bad fats or like, uh, they use like really crappy wheat and then a ton of fiber to back it out. Oh, 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 Joseph Finley. There he is. Tunces and I have finally arrived. We're at the Drake. Oh, the sweet. You've got to love the Drake. <laughs> sweet. Joseph we can't and- wait to, We can't wait to meet you guys. Joseph and Tunces flew in from Cleveland, Cleveland Rocks, to come to the meetup tomorrow, the interactive cooking demo. Tunces, I got about 15 bottles of wine, keto wine waiting for you. So make sure you pace yourself, right? Make sure you pace yourself. We're excited. That is, can you imagine P Dirk is driving down from Green Bay, Wisconsin for the meetup? We have the most supportive community. It's crazy, you guys. People are begging Rose to come say hi to us. She's sleeping. Oh, she's sleeping, she's guys. Sleeping yeah, she had because she went with us to the uh, to the grocery store. Her sleeping schedule was way Here's off. It's a trick question. What do you think the markets are going to do on Monday? <laughs> well, if more bad news comes out about the coronavirus, you might see another dip. But they have to be on Tuesday, though, right? Is it President's Day? Do they close for that? Is there a holiday? Monday is President's Day. Oh, really? Day. Oh, we got to wait for Tuesday then. Finley, $9.99. Tunes is, thir Tunes is, is thirsty and she's not driving. <laughs> <laughs> Don't just look out. Thank you, sir. Yeah, yeah. Tom, Tom Dolphin, $1.99. Found a kefir, started with goat milk. Oh, that's gangbusters. Thank dude. you, guys. Guys, that sauce. See, I don't eat dairy in a while. But when you have a thick, luxurious, organic cream like that one, I mean, you can put that sauce literally on an old shoe and it'd be good. It just Celery needs a juice, touch of acid. Or bad. Um, you know what? I think it's okay. I went into a celery juice diet, but I think it's a lot of hype to be honest. I'd rather just have a green juice from Suja and have maybe one of those a day or a glass a day. Bobby D, love your videos. I was 213 now. I was 213, now I'm down to 172 on keto low carb. Started in the middle of last June. Thanks. Love it. Hey, you know there what I watched this week on uh, Amazon Prime Video? There is a documentary called Fat. Look it up and watch it. And it pretty much says how keto and paleo is the way to go for weight loss, but also for reducing all kinds of diseases and how the government back in the 20s and 30s shifted away from saturated fat and started vilifying those and started proposing that we all eat Number one, refined vegetable oils. And then the 50s came around. They said, hey, here's the food pyramid. Everyone eat rice, grains, and cereals. And don't eat too much meat, but eat a lot of sugar and carbs and uh, fruit and mix that in with bad stuff. 
it's an amazing documentary and the crux of the issue is that keto paleo is the way to prosperity. The stuff in the grocery store that has sugar mixed with canola oil, other plant oils, fat, uh, salt, and carbs will make you fat, sick, and nearly dead. Finley's asking me for Chicago pizza. Finley, I'm gonna have to say Lou Malnati's, and you're saying to Drake, go across the street to State Street and the triangle there. Yeah, go to the yeah, State Street and Walton. State Street and Walton. Lou Malnati's. Lou Malnati's. Is you could area. walk there in 10 minutes. Yeah. Go there, That's... and then also go to the big Starbucks Reserve Roastery on uh, Michigan Avenue, and go have some of those drinks. All right, look at this sauce. L-O-U. We talk about Velvid. Last name Malnati, M-A-L-N-A-T-I. Isn't it Mel Torme the Velvet Fog? I'm the Velvet Sauce. So what are, right, what are the French call this? Ready? One, two, three. Nappé. Nappé. Look at that. When the sauce holds the lime. I can have Art taste this, just so you guys can see here. Go to selfie style, it'll be easier. Art, try that out. That sauce. That. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, my finger's clean. Or partners anyway, what do you care? <laughs> that's good sauce. Oh, dude. You like the sauce. You like the juice? I it's like the good. juice. Isn't that good, man? Very good. Very good. All right, so you guys, let's plate a dish together here. Let me chop some. And by the way, the uh, pork is chilling. I should say it's staying warm in the oven. That beautiful pasture-raised Thrive Market pork. We use Thrive Market pork. We use Thrive Market ghee. We used pork fat. We used everything tonight. And then, can I get the hashtag feed art trending or what? That's what I want to see. Lois Lane, I would love to go back to the UK. Yeah, you know, I haven't, we're, been, I haven't been there since 1991. So we're so overdue for a trip. But here's the deal. If Art and I and Desi and Rose go to Tuscany with this uh, wine company in the fall, I want to try to like uh, make it into a European, kind of like uh, National Lampoon's vacation and go to... I really want to go to Prague. I've never been there. I wouldn't mind going back to Istanbul. All right, so Art, take your place for plating. We have our beautiful cauliflower mash that I made in my thermo mix. And I want to plate this just like they would on a, in a restaurant, right? So, What's up with this Joe Sue J? Don't feed Art hashtag. Ooh. That's rude. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Brad Cook, this is an iPhone 11 Pro Max. Isn't it amazing what you can do on a phone now? I mean, they call it a phone. It's not really a phone, but we have the iPhone 11 Pro Max, and it's so good, and Art is so good. Art is so steady. He's a human steady cam. It's crazy. And we just create these amazing videos, and you'd think it was this huge rig, and compared to a big production company, it's like, it's so funny how we do this, right? Uh how do we meet? Uh, we, have, we have a mutual friend. We all went to separate high schools and uh, just became friends in high school. Go back quite a ways now. Okay. So, uh, oh yeah, I've known Art for years. I want to slice this pork. So once again, here's the pork. Now see, here's the beauty of resting it. See how the juices slowly came out and I can use that as a sauce, right? So here's what I want to do. I want to take the pork. Art and I will each literally gnaw the meat off the bone because the meat by the bone is almost sweet like candy. It's like, it really is beautiful. That's the beauty of cooking meat on the bone. It's more flavor. I actually call it meat candy, right? That stuff right there, like here. Bobby, that pork is pink. How can you eat that? Don't worry about that. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm being sarcastic, mm. for the record. Mm, 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 mm. Was this guy on gr Guy's Grocery Games? Yes, he was. This the guy was. family was. Bobby, Desi, and his brother. Mm, my brother, yeah. We won that. Now look at the pork. That is so perfectly cooked, you guys. Are your books still selling at Costco? Um, yes, I'm just waiting on the expanded store list. Okay, so let's fan. How many, how many eggs a day do you eat? Um, I don't eat too many eggs during the week. Weekend type of thing? Yeah, I eat about three eggs on Saturday and three eggs on Sunday. I mean, obviously this is missing. Jesse eats about two eggs every day. Eggs are such a good saturated fat that are so vital for, I believe, overall health and for your brain and for your nerve endings. Really, really important stuff. Well, so now, up, Art. Up top, it shows the super chats and they give them a time limit. 99.99, still up. Are there. you serious? Yeah. I mean, wow. You get a lot of love for massive that. Massive donation. All right, here we go. Here's the money shot. Money shop. It's a Conan O'Brien reference. Okay, then. 
Gordon Ramsay will be crying. Why? I don't know. That's what they wrote. You must have done something that Gordon wouldn't like. You know what? If Gordon doesn't get behind this, not much I can do. You guys, keto cauliflower mash with spice crusted pasture raised pork chops and a horseradish cream pan sauce. This is the kind of food you want to eat when you want to eat keto. It's not paleo because of the uh, cream sauce, but you can use uh, like a, a dairy-free cream. This is so good. Now let's turn it over oh, to my paleo. main man, not, Art. Wait, it's not keto or not paleo? It's Which not paleo because we're using cream. Uh, I may have put a wrong hashtag. Out. That's okay. <laughs> You, can, you don't have to use the cream. You can use, like I said, um, almond cream or pea cream. Live rose right. Get in my belly. All right, can I pour you a sh little wine here? Sure. A little shtickle of wine. Okay. All right, let me get you a fork and a knife. You are going to totally go gaga when you taste this pork with... Anna Patton, $4.99. Thank you for everything. You've changed my way of grocery shopping. To Bill Brasky and to Anna. Thank you. Okay, Art, right, let's switch. Here's that time of the day where we see Art eat what Bobby made, also known as hashtag Feed Art, Art. featuring Arthur T. Amosy the third, my two-year-old and four-year-old are pretending to eat your food off the TV. Oh, Heather, I love that. I'm take some with the sauce on it. There we go. Oh, you like the juice. You like the sauce. I'll put some sauce on there too. Why not? Oh yeah, go crazy, Holmes. <laughs> That's what you want to eat. Well said, Art. The mustard sauce with that juicy, perfectly cooked, thrive pasture <laughs> pork, rib pork chops. That's Not right. Not just loin chops. That's right. Rib chops, vastly superior. Now, Art, Art and I love these pieces right here that have the big pork fat you, cap. You remember that time you got the local pork? I did. Like the fattiest pork I've ever seen. Yeah, and you, and you ate it. I ate it. Even you said, oh, that's a bit too much. Yeah, but those pieces, it almost eats like a steak, right, Art? It's not mm -hmm. dry at all. Oh, it's delicious. So wait, rib chops, Way exactly. Go. Way to go. That's right. Exactly. You might need to wash it down with some Bucky's beef. Oh, you got to try it with the uh, wine. You can't have a pork chop with cream sauce without a delicious red wine like that. Very nice. Isn't that great? Good combo. Ah, I mean, that's what it's all about, you guys. Using the best quality pork, like the pasture-raised pork from Thrive, using keto cauliflower mash, and a cream sauce with organic dairy where I, I'm not sure where I put it. There it is, all the way back there. That's what you want. Somebody's asking, where's Maggie B? So used to seeing her. She was on earlier. She left. She had to run to a Valentine's Day dinner. So That's right. She, she had a romantic evening. So, Very good job. Eat this. Good? Make this at home. Enjoy it. Make it. The recipe is down below, you guys. Don't wait until next Valentine's Day. Just do it tomorrow. No, do not wait. Um, flip it yeah, easier, good right? idea. Yeah. The recipe is down below, you guys in the description box, along with uh, all the links you want. But I really, one more time, want you guys to try that Thrive Market pasture-raised pork. Um, someone told me the pork is sold out right now. Set a reminder to uh, find out when they're back in stock. But if you use that link down below, one last time, you'll get a $20 shopping credit when you sign up for a year-long membership. If you don't like Thrive, cancel after 30 days. You get your membership fee back, but you keep that $20 shopping credit, so it's risk-free, and I really want you guys to try the pork and that bacon that I'll be eating tomorrow morning for breakfast with my coffee, my keto pancakes, and my eggs, because all right, we have a busy day tomorrow. We gotta take over a ton of food, cookbooks, a pressure cooker, utensils over to the party, and we'll have a grand old time. The video tomorrow morning on YouTube is gonna be a tea review, all about tea, organic, loose leaf, tea in the bag, flavored teas, all that stuff. Did we filmed that this week or last week? Uh, we filmed that over a week ago, I believe. Okay. Yeah. It's all, it's all blurring again. <laughs> it's one we big blur. so much stuff. Yeah, it's crazy, you guys. It's crazy. Um, but we had an awesome time hanging out with you. We'll be back next week. Actually, no, I'm leaving for South Beach on Tuesday. Maybe I'll do a live stream from there. We'll figure it out. Um, but awesome time. How, how tall are you, Art? I'm about 6'1 uh, and some change. Yeah, I'm 6'2. We're pretty much the same, right? Uh, what time is the live tomorrow? There's no live tomorrow. No Tomorrow's live tomorrow. the... Uh, live in for the people that are here. Right. There's uh, the in-person cooking event, right? Um, so guys, great time hanging out. I don't want this food to get cold. Art and I and Desi and Rose will see you very soon, but we leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. And I can't wait to get me some of that pasture-raised pork in my belly. Mm -hmm.